Okay. Hello. Sorry for starting late. We had to finish an episode of The Sopranos. <laughs> had to finish a season of The Sopranos. Okay, so... Is that really small? Well, I guess it's not. I guess it's... It's a 4 by 3 thing, and I don't have an image. I didn't think uh, about well, it. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I'm playing Yume Nikki, which is like a Japanese horror game. I don't know when it came out. It's like an independently made game. Yeah, I, think... I feel like I've known about it forever. Yeah, like it's old. Um, like not like pre-2000s old, but... Uh... Well, video games didn't exist before the 2000s. It's true. It came out in 2004. But it's like an independently made That's RPG. That's when we started dating. It is, it is. Uh, it's an independently made RPG maker game. Uh, but it's got like a really huge like cult following. Um, and I've never played it before. And I don't know what Dream Diary is. I know it has like a sequel called Dream Diary. I think the Dream Diary is a mechanic. After you start the game, I think it explains it. Okay. So I don't know, it may be, uh, I don't know, some sort of navigation thing. Or it may just be the continue, rather yeah. than the new game. Might be. Hey, Colin. Alright, new game. How to play. Bedroom. Get in bed. Enter dream world. Pinch your cheek with key nine. I guess to wake up. In the dream world, by examining certain spots, you will acquire a new effect to use with the enter key after using one of these effects from the menu your appearance will change you can get rid of the effects in the room of doors with key number five you can save the game by waking up and checking the desk in the bedroom so yeah that's the dream diary that's the loading feature I don't know what. Does that sound super low for you? It's not very loud, no. Okay. I'll just wait until you do some other stuff before I adjust the sound. I just don't want all of it to be super quiet, you know? Uh, Neo says that Yume is Japanese for dream, which I feel like I knew, and then Nikki is diary. So that's oh. literally just the name. Well, that's cool. Oh, you're learning Japanese. That's cool. Colin wants to know how we are. Sleepy. Looks like I can play my Famtendo. I have a game called Nasu. I'll look at that later. Like that music sounded fine. As far can't, as levels go to me anyways. Can't leave the room. Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna take that back and go out on the balcony here. You're completely isolated building. This is fucking cool. Alright, I guess we will go to bed. Count three, two, one. Nia wants to know if we know the policy that Twitch has on emulation. I mean, as far as I know, it's not Twitch that has a problem with emulation, it's Nintendo. Um, I think Twitch's policy with emulation is... Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, like the same as a lot of their other stuff, so like... If, if, so, if like you're... I think if people are like paying attention and you're very obviously talking about using an emulator, you could get in trouble. 
But I don't think most people do. I've never heard it as a huge issue. Yeah, like the only people who I ever hear get upset about emulation is Nintendo, who don't want to make their old games playable, so the only way to play them is through emulation. Right. He says he wants to stream Comics Zone and Vector Man. I don't even know what those are. I know what Comic Zone is. Um, I mean, you should definitely do that. Yeah, I think... I, I don't think there's a huge problem with Twitch and emulation, especially with older games. I think if it was like, you know, like last generation or something, you, you probably run a bigger risk, but uh -huh. I don't know. I think it's probably fine. What is Colin saying? Oh, Colin was saying get in touch with him about the podcast when you have time to work on it again. Oh, yeah. We need to, to try to reschedule a time for that. Oh, you're working on new Owl Night. That's fucking sick. All right. So I was back on the balcony. Like you went to bed and I then woke to, up I, on the balcony? Yeah. Okay. I, okay, see, it's not letting me save here, though. Yeah, it said you have to wake up. Oh, hell yes. This is the game. You can scoot around in my fucking chair. What do you think about that? Oh, my, my little... Uh, oh, yeah, your game, game console's gone. Yeah. Can I go outside with this? I can! Hell yes! I love this ambient droning yeah. tone. Colin says he needs coffee. And I mean, if we're streaming, we have coffee. Yeah. Oh, I made some fucking sick cold brew. Like, I, I really like it. I don't remember what brand we used. It's Seattle's best because it was the cheapest whole bean yeah. they had at the oh, store we went to. There's an eye on this TV when I turn it on now. You said it was Seattle's best? Yeah. I and it was like a medium brew, which is not what we, or medium roast, I mean, which is not what we usually do. How do I get out of this chair? Probably, yeah, at the desk, I would assume. What happens if I try to go to bed? Nothing? Okay. And you tried to leave the room? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I figured that's what I was going to be yeah. able to... Okay. Okay, so they said go to the room of doors to, yeah. to disable your ability or whatever. So I guess that's what this is. <clears throat> so this was like super... Uh, I'll say homage in Omori. Mm -hmm. There was that whole segment at the end where you were in that empty space full of doors. Um, I think I might just go clockwise. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to change or what. Let's try this one. Yeah, as far as I know, there's not any sort of like linear thing you'd want I, to do? I don't think so. In fact, um, somebody that I was talking to about the game told me they didn't even know if it would be good for streaming because of how non-linear and exploratory, exploratory I guess. it is. So this looks like a maze. There's numbers everywhere. And it said you could interact with stuff and get an effect. Right. I'm just wondering if you have to go around randomly interacting or if stuff's going to be like highlight highlighted in a way to let you know it's interactable. I feel like it must be like obvious. Oh, look at this. I, th I think there's somebody in some of these yeah, beds. Yeah, some of these beds are occupied. Uh, do you see one that I can get to that's not occupied? Oh. There's a person. Hello. Should I? I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll find out. Hello? Come over here. Hey. Okay. They don't care. Huh. There's, there's, um, cabinets down here, like mm -hmm. wardrobes, it looks like. I didn't think about it, but this game's gonna have good ass music, ain't it? I believe so. I mean, thus far it has.
Colin wants to know if you want an artist's copy of that tape. Oh, yeah, I do, please. Um, I'll hit you up about PayPal later. Oh, shit, I stood on some blood and I got transported. Whoa, okay, these people are moving a lot faster all of a sudden. Are they coming after me? It looks like it. Is that a guillotine? It... A guillotine? Severed head. I got... Se what does that mean, severed head? You, you have a severed head. I don't, though. Why are you coming after me? What the fuck? I guess you have to wake yourself up. I don't know. Like, maybe that's it. Is they don't kill you, but they put you somewhere, uh... I can't believe Colin made this joke and I didn't. He said to no head. So no head? <laughs> um, like, that's the punishment. Rather than killing you, it just okay. puts you in a place where you can't progress, well, so you I'm, have to start over. So I hit nine. Three times. No. Oh, I thought once. it said, pinch your cheek three times. Screw the old Saberuski. Did that work? Medotsuki. I think that's the character's name. Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted to look that up to make sure we were saying it right, because I wasn't sure, because I know the SU is sometimes silent in some Japanese I think it's probably names. Madatsuke. It's probably how it's Well, pronounced. no, we looked it up, and it is uh, Madatsuki. Madatsuki, okay. And I don't know if it has a different meaning, because it's part of the name, but I think Suki means moon. Okay. But I feel like you looked it up and told me the meaning, but I've forgotten. So, like, should I go back there? Was there something I needed to do? I mean, I feel like that's going to be the whole game. It's just figuring out what there is to do where. So, I I don't know. Like, maybe that's why you can do all of it at once. In case something's not obvious to you right now, you can just go fuck around somewhere else instead of staying in one place and getting frustrated. Ooh, who's this man? I don't know, none of these people interact with me out here. Because, like, I, I interacted with that guillotine thing, and, uh... Yeah, it gave you a prompt. But, like, I saw you trying to interact with the person here on this map, and it just didn't do anything. But then when you went to the next one, they were hostile. This guy's blocking a door. How do we get in there? Colin wants to know if we've been creative today. I sewed, or I started sewing some buttons on a jumpsuit I have. That's about all I've done today, because sewing takes fucking forever when you don't have a machine. I just worked all day. I haven't had a chance to do anything else. Unfortunately. You finally got to start this. You've been wanting to start this for over a month now. I know, I just have not. Ooh, had... what have you done, Neo? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you're fine. I was just saying I haven't had a chance to really start it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just happy that you did get to start it because I know you <laughs> downloaded like a million of these little RPG Maker horror games. Yeah, I downloaded about 60 games that are in the vein of Yume Nikki. And then I owned you, my Nikki, on Steam. And then I also downloaded, like, this mega pack of you, my Nikki fan games. It was like 360 games. Neo says he's teaching himself how to use Music Maker, so he's slowly learning how to make instrumentals. Well, that's fucking sick. Uh, if you need any help... Yeah, ask Colin. <laughs> ask Colin. Colin is a, a fucking master of music production. And I'm, I'm not, like, bullshitting him there. Like, Colin is an excellent musician. Like, fucking amazing musician. 
Go away. Leave yeah, me the fuck alone. Yeah, this looks super annoying. Leave me the fuck alone. There's another guillotine. Or it may be the same one. I don't know. Do I need to... I don't know what I... No, leave me alone. Fuck out of here. Uh, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get Devin making... Dun oh, what the fuck? Get Devin making some dungeon scent. Their pathing is a little fucked up. Maybe you only get one from the first one you interact with. But, I don't but, know what use it is. Yeah, like, what did it do? Oh. Oh. So, I don't know. Maybe that'll make, uh... Let's send you somewhere else, but you still can't progress, can you? Uh... Um... <laughs> I'm still stuck. Although, obviously, this is a place that you could progress in, just not from here. I don't know, maybe you'll get an effect that lets you jump later on. <laughs> this is number key five, right? Oh, I have to go to the room of doors. Wait. Okay, never mind. I don't actually know what that means. Okay, so I guess I'm going to wake up. Yeah, if you make any music, Devin, please send it to me. I'm a fucking slut for it. Like, is there a certain kind of music you're trying to make? Like, you say instrumentals, but, like, like what are you after? I would definitely try to jump around if you don't immediately know what you're supposed to be doing. Because yeah, I feel like just, just staying so in one place is going to be oh, a little well, it's frustrating fucking, and unentertaining. It's fucking popping off here. Look yeah. at this worm. Come here, worm. Who up playing with a worm? Who up playing with a worm? This is the fucking worm room. I also remember somebody was telling us that there were some levels they couldn't even finish because it hurt their eyes so bad. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I figured. He said it's mostly for, like, games. It's yeah. like I, I knew he had said before that he wants to make games and he's talked about ideas for games and stuff. So, essentially, he's making Dungeon Scent. <laughs> <laughs> get, get out of my way. You motherfuckers, get out of my way. He said games and animated works. Fucking do it, Devin. I'll get you a fucking deal. <laughs> with what? With, with, the, with the, 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 the labels, man. I'll get Devin a big a big music deal. He'll be selling twenty copies of a tape like nothing. <laughs> be making dollars and dollars. <laughs> Fives of dollars. If you sell it on Bandcamp Friday, you might make six dollars. Yeah, but then they'll just take it away from you. <laughs> oh, Colin says he needs you to talk to the Lost Armor because they ignored him. Oh, Daniel ignored you about <laughs> Owl Night. Hmm. I'll hit him up. He'll have to at least tell me no. <laughs> mm. 
So, like, can you imagine downloading this off the internet in 2003 and you have no background on it at all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, there are a lot of games where it's like, you know, oh, I'm impressed that me as a kid figured this out when you go back and play it as an adult. But games like this, it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, there's only one, like, aside from this main character, there's one other character I know from this game. And I don't even know that I know their name, but it's that dude in the black outfit with the, like, wraparound keyboard. Yeah. That you see art of all the time. And I don't know if it's the same thing, because there's another th sprite that I see from this that looks like that character's sever he severed head, but I don't know if it is supposed to be that or if it's just a coincidence. Because I'm pretty sure that thing is called Uboa. The severed head? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's like the, the thing, that's like the, the iconography you see for the game. You yeah. Know? Because I think that's sort of an antagonistic force that you meet in the dreams. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, I, this game is, you know, going on 10 years old. And, no, it's more than 10. It's going on 20 now. Yeah. And I still don't know much of anything about it. Because no, it's one wild. of those... Yeah, it's just one of those that, you know, I guess can't be easily explained. But also, it was always like, you know, I want to play it someday, so I'm not going to look into yeah. it. Yeah. Like, um, other than, you know, how to get it. I'm not going to, like, look up the story or the walkthrough or anything because I'm not playing it. So when I play it, I'll have fun with it, like, for the first time. When you play it? Yeah. When you play it? I'm just messing with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing anything that I can interact with here, so I think I'm going to leave. Yeah, it seems like so far all you can interact with is blood. Blood and doors. And death grip songs. Neo wants to know if we gave up on Monster Rancher. I have not given up on Monster Rancher. We just have not had a good amount of time to set aside for it. Uh, what with all the shit happening this Sh month. Yeah. <laughs> shit went shit went south, so we really want to have like most of a Saturday to sit down and play it. Look at this place. man with a sword? I couldn't tell what it was. It was too fast. He looked like a little gnome. It looked like a little lizard to me. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Are you coming to fuck my shit up again? Okay. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing. I mean, they are looking at me. I think they're coming after me. I don't know, their pathing is so strange. Yeah, uh, it obviously is not interacting with this landscape very well. LSD. Uh, yeah, I was saying that not too long ago, that I might as well try to emulate that at some point. Yeah. Because I'm sure it would be fun. I know this game is partially inspired by LSD. It's just I don't think LSD is as deliberately dark, you know? Yeah, I don't know that LSD has any sort of story to it. I think it literally is just exploring dreamscapes. Okay, look, now I'm Yeah, you're now back I'm in here. this maze. So, like, it looks like the places are interconnected. Because, you know, I went through a totally different door yeah, and I still right. ended up here. Is this like a blood maze, maybe? I don't know.
ini something over there see if I can get there this uh sound as well it's yeah, like just ominous tones well it's like it's almost like a like a mechanical hum like a refrigerator yeah or an air conditioner so like one of the last guys me and jacob interviewed um and i don't think this is an interview that i will actually be released at this point but it was uh a guy named James McHenry who is a cyber grind artist uh, he has a, a project called Blind Equation I think is what he was called I've got the tape over here somewhere but uh, like he just released like um, his <coughs> I think sort of his largest album I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say it was his first full length but it may be his first official full length um, like he's been making music for a while, but it's like his first official full-length album, you know, with all the bells and whistles and everything. And uh, it's sort of a concept album that uh, is heavily inspired by this game. Um, it was really good. I think it's called Life is Pain. Like it has like a, I think a big emo influence in it as well. Look at this guy. If you become a severed head, would you be in the right position to make it look like your head? Is it Ted? I don't know. We can try that. I mean, I don't imagine it'll do anything, but like, I'm sure it's just something you need to go over. hear us what's wrong it just told me the stream disconnected for no fucking reason where did it tell you that it just made a little thing pop up right here and then it said attempting to reconnect and reconnected like I never got any messages about anything being fucked up but then it's like nope we're disconnecting and reconnecting yeah nobody said anything in chat for a minute so who knows you want to check on your phone I guess I should okay yeah Neo says it said broadcast ended for like a second <laughs> interesting how useful Wonder what happened. That's got to be Twitch. I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't. When it was our internet during that storm in your last Skyrim playthrough, it like took it a few minutes to realize it was disconnected. But that was like instant. So I don't know what the fuck that was about. What were you streaming the other day, Neo? You guys playing Mega Man X? Oh yeah, you said that's what it said. Like we didn't have a chance to, to tune into that stream. How you liking that? Because Mega Man games are like notoriously hard. <laughs> yeah, like I've always wanted to get into Mega Man, but I, I, I can't play the games. <laughs> They're very difficult. Man, I'm just walking in circles, or I'm not walking in circles, but I'm walking to dead ends. Yeah, I wonder if that's the uh, the objective, is you have to get transported here from a bunch of different places because it puts you on certain tracks, and some of them just have no way. Yeah, I don't Like, know. it's not all connected. Like, I haven't seen anything for a minute, too. Oh, here. Is this where I came in? 
I don't know that it's where you came in, but it was one of those ob Okay, I guess it was. It, okay. I knew it was the same object, I just didn't know if it was the same place. Alright, let's go back this way then, because this is where I saw, like, there was like an object, like a statue, and then that big weird guy. <sighs> he says the X series is supposed to be a little easier. I love the uh, the character design in the old Mega Man games. I didn't like the way that new game looked, like the like the the newest one, like Mega Man Eleven or something, because it was like in the the play style of the old games, but it had like you know new 3D graphics. Mm -hmm. I just I don't know. I'm not into like super polished 3D side scrollers. I don't think. Like, if it's a side-scroller, I kind of want it to look stylized and pixely. Or at least 2D, I guess. Does that make sense? It does to me, yeah. Is there a, is there a 3D side-scroller that I like that I'm not thinking of? I don't know how many side-scrollers you care about. Yeah. Not really very fond of mini games that require actual skill. Uh, skill. Well, well, I mean, no, just not, like I mean, physical skill. Like, well, I mean, it's all a physical skill. I mean, specifically reaction time skill. Yeah, yeah. I guess, like you know, reflex and stuff. Yeah. Like I mean, I can appreciate them. It's just not the kind of game I ever enjoy because yeah, I'm not good at them. <laughs> like you prefer to like you know play an RPG where you can think stuff out. Uh huh. Nowhere here. I'm being lulled into sleep by this tone. <laughs> huh? Like Neo that one time he played D and D with us. Look at this. <laughs> Neo says he agrees. He's not a major fan of 3D side scrollers and prefers 2D or 2.5D. Which I guess is what most modern ones would be, right? No, 2.5D is like that isometric kind of 2D. Ah, uh, okay. If I'm not mistaken. you feel in different parts of your head the game. For real, yeah. Like, some of these drones have the effect of, like, a uh, Buddha machine. Mm -hmm. It's really very nice.
You haven't picked anything else up like the severed head, have you? No. Okay. And I mean, I haven't seen anywhere where that would be useful. Can I use it here? I can't. Also have a, a money counter down here. Uh huh. Although I doubt I'll be picking up any currency. dream last night where I was arguing with somebody about the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Like the old show? Yeah, because I, I just remember in my dream getting really mad and screaming they should know who Captain Lou fucking is. <laughs> like the dude that played him? Yeah. Or was that the dude that played Luigi? <laughs> that was Mario. Mario, okay. see any path out of this area, do you? Well, where you came in, but well, that's yeah. it. that little symbol that you stepped on and went to the pyramid somewhere else but I don't know that you could get to it okay it's like you passed it a while back but I'm just not sure if it was completely you know walled in or not this is a little hand reaching down isn't it yeah it really looks like it is <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Was that the sound of you getting out of bed? Yeah. Okay. Let's go in this eyeball door. There they are. Mm -hmm. My balls. Oh, a grabber. It's like a 3D sprite you'd see on an old GeoCities website. Yeah. Is some shit, huh? That's Jigsaw. Just fucking hanging out with these with these severed heads.
Oh, no. a leg. didn't seem to produce no. any results. Huh? I said no. Oh, Jesus. that's happening in the background here? What is that image? It looks like a clown fetus. It looks like a, you know, a cross-section of a cell. Yeah. Like a textbook, you know? The mitochondria. Oh, a man. The mitochondria. See? It's the powerhouse of the cell. It is. It is a little man. I'm just not seeing anything, you know? Yeah. first couple had anything to interact with. 
Yeah, because, like, is it saying you can remove an effect in a capacity other than just, you know, putting it on and off? I don't know. Because like, you were saying something about having to be in that room of doors, I thought. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that meant. Here's a little man. Art appreciator. Oh. He, he gave me an effect. Blonde. It just makes me blonde. Gives me different hair. Oh, he has blonde hair. Oh. <laughs> do effects stack? Can I do severed head? Okay, no, you can't. I just know so little about the game, I don't know if, like, you have to use... Oh. But what does that mean? Yeah. Like, do you have a limit on your inventory? And maybe at some point you have to drop them? I don't know. It's an egg. That's what I thought. I thought it made an egg. Like, yeah. well, something... Huh? It's got a different yeah. name. I wonder if that's just a mistake or what. Why don't you try leaving one here and see if... Like, for how long? I like, don't know. Like, wake just... up? For, like, just a bit to see if it does anything. Because, I mean, like, why would it do that if there wasn't... I don't know. Because, like, I, I mean, it may be, like I said, where it is just an inventory management thing you have to do, but... Oh, look. This is like blinding white. Mm -hmm. Get some of that winter synth going. Oh, the bed. Fucked up if you think I can go into that igloo. What was that? I don't know. Like an ice fishing hole? Which do you like better when it's just a big open blank space with no way to go, or this, or ma these mazes? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the ma oh, look. I feel like the mazes are a little more. Like I feel like I'm at least going somewhere in the maze, you know. Thank you. 
Is that a giant mouse poster? It's kind of what it looks like. It looks like that little thing that, uh... Um... Oh fuck, what is her name? Anthe? In, in, uh, Utna has. Oh yeah, That yeah. weird little monkey thing. <laughs> Right. I'm at a total loss here. <laughs> Which I kind of expected to be, you know? Yeah. I just don't have any idea what to do. This game needs what loot boxes yeah definitely <laughs> like these effects you shouldn't be able to go somewhere and get them you should definitely be opening loot boxes yeah kill streaks pvp battle royale mode uh-huh I think this is the one that takes me back to the first part of the, yeah. So, that didn't have any result, really. Like, I went to that other house, but nothing would interact with me. buy a bunch of loot boxes until you unlock Darth Vader. Hell yeah. Did I tell you Batman is in Fortnite now? Yeah, yeah, you were looking through comics last night and you told me there was a... I guess it was a Fortnite Batman comic. Because we need lore about why he's in Fortnite, I assume. Probably, yeah. Speaking of DC Comics, I saw um, uh, an Onion article or a Hard Times article or whatever. And, you know, Amazon has... Uh, the boys mm -hmm. they have the boys show and they have the invincible show mm -hmm. which is about like both of those are properties about superheroes you know it's, it's just a, uh, sort of an elaborative version of, of yeah. Watchmen like superheroes doing fucked up shit yeah um and uh the article was um what's the cat's name from Amazon Bezos yeah Jeff Bezos uh says he sees no problem with green lighting uh, shows about how Lex Luthor was right <laughs> and Superman is the real enemy. <laughs> guess I'm gonna wake up. I guess we'll have to go see if that egg is still there. 
This bitch be sleeping, huh? <laughs> Relatable. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's still here. It moved, I think, didn't it? Didn't I you leave were it in close the middle? to this door. You started in the middle, then you started to go like okay. you were... Oh, shit. Oh, my. I saw some art, speaking of comics, from Harrow County. Oh, really? Yeah. I would really need to finish reading that. Yeah, it was really cool. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything here. Like, I can barely see myself. I don't know if it's... Can you see me? I can see you. Okay. I mean, it's very hard to tell if you're actually moving or if you're caught on something, though. Oh, there's something. I think it's just the yeah, door. Yeah, I think it's the door you came in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Neo says Bezos is real life Lex Luthor changes mind. No, I mean, that's accurate. I mean, I feel like with most villains, you could argue a point they have. You know? Like. But Bezos just wants money. True. <laughs> This would be a really good game to just fucking veg out to, you know? Mm -hmm. Like super depressive, chill vibes. Oh yeah, all of the music has been really fantastic. The atmosphere and everything is really nice. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, what? Neo, no! Don't 
do that to yourselves. What do you say? Are you saying you're gonna play Agony? Because you shouldn't oh. play Agony. Oh God. We have Agony because we, you know, if, all the the oh for fuck's if, sake. If you want to play Agony, I'll give you my copy. Yeah, of it. don't give them money if you haven't already. Because I'm never gonna play it. I I played it one time and it was fucking unplayable. It was on. It was terrible. We will give it to you. We uh, have yeah. it for PS4. Yeah, I've got a PS4 copy. You it can, fucking sucks shit. Like, I'll just fucking give it to you. Please, I, I would love for you to play it, but it's fucking terrible. I'll be. I'll just warn you. Like, you'll get to your first interaction with an enemy, and that'll be when you'll stop. I've never seen anyone play past that. The people that made Agony are making, like... Uh... It's sort of like a spiritual sequel. Because it's like... Because in Agony, like, you play as, like, somebody that's in hell. Yeah. But in this game, like, you play as, like, the demons and succubuses and stuff. Uh-huh. And it's, like, super erotic and okay. gory. I mean, again, that sounds good, but they took yeah. what looked super fucking good with Agony and made Agony. <laughs> I seem to be just walking past the same things again and again. I don't know if I'm progressing anywhere on this road. Can't interact with them. I don't know if I can go back either. Are you saying there's, like, official porn of the succubi? I'm sure there is. I mean, like, the game was kind of built that way to begin yeah. with. Yeah. But, like... like That's the, a new dude. Oh. Okay, this is different. Neo, this is a judgment-free zone. We were talking about fucking cum cauldrons last stream. Cum cauldrons. <laughs> Hello. Look at this guy. Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. What up? I will not explain Cum Cauldron. You can create your own lore or go back and watch the VOD. <laughs> the Cum Cauldron. Oh, this place is fucking cool. Good talk. Is that the end of the road? Do you care if I'm a severed head? Would that change your mind, sir? Do you care if I'm blonde? Sir, please. I like how he's got a fucking trogdor arm. Yeah, he does. He's got he? a big arm coming out of his back, big muscly arm. Okay, um, I guess fuck me then. I don't know. Alright, I guess I'm waking up. Mod where it plays chop suey every time you pinch your cheek. <laughs> oh my god. time here that's the snow one uh, i went here then no yeah. that was the dark wasn't it yeah and then i think you went through the red one last
And we got a big box of vegan uh, baked goods today. Oh, yes. A bunch of cookies, some little cakes, a brownie, I believe. A muffin. A muffin. Fucking tasty. Got a vegan chocolate chip cookie earlier. Big one. Soft, delicious, buttery. But obviously not real butter. Yeah. There are beds everywhere, but they don't do anything. Yeah. the door just came through. I feel like it has to be. I mean, yeah, if you try it, you'll just... Yeah. Like, you haven't encountered any places where it looks like you could get through, maybe, as the severed head, right? I don't think my size changes. I'm just much slower. Okay. I don't know. This, oh. Okay, yeah. There's something. It's a bathroom. Okay. You know you just pissed the bed. Oh, you think so? Don't sound so excited. <laughs> but like, yeah, that's what I was wondering, is if the effects were anything other than cosmetic. Like, I feel like they have to have... Yeah, I don't know what the point of programming them would be if they weren't, you know something that changes the way you interact with the world yeah. to progress the story. But then again, I'm not sure, like... How much story there is. How much story is. there is, yeah. See, Becky looks like a butt plug. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say it Looks earlier. like a cat with a butt plug on its tail. Remember when we had to read that in, uh... English class in high school. The cat, cat with a butt plug on its tail? The cat with the butt plug on its tail. Who wrote that? Uh, I don't know. I can't think of who it would be, but I just know that if we had to read it for English, it would still be the most boring story on earth. Willa Cather's The Cat with the Butt, butt Plug on its Tail. The Butt Plug. Oh my god. Who? Willa Cather wrote My Antonia. Oh, is that what her name was? Yeah. Okay. I could not remember her name. I'm about to wake up out of here and go to the next one.
What happened? I just nearly yanked my headphones uh, off my head. Oh, a little puking ghost. Oh, a friend. Hell yeah. Yeah, someone in chat says there's no official history, just Interp fan interpretation. Yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Oh yeah, I didn't assume there is. Like, I mean, I'm sure there are walkthroughs on how to progress certain, things, certain aspects. But I'm sure there's nothing concrete about, you know. Concrete? Yeah, about the story. Still, like I said, you can make this game better with loot boxes. <laughs> EA would like to know your location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good. An EA remake of you, man, Nikki. What property would they release content for? Like, you know, like they would put, like you said, Darth Vader in the game, but like something other than the obvious, like Star Wars. Like, what? Who, who would be in this? Well, I mean, I feel like the most, uh, the funniest thing I can think of is like $5 to get a plumb bob that floats above her head. What the fuck is a plumb bob? The thing in The Sims, the little green diamond. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a fucking plumb bob. What do you think about that? I think that's what it's called. I think it is. I... There's a little man right there. You see him? They're a frog. Oh. Oh, oh, you I, got a frog. I got frog. Now you Do can I... become status ailment frog in Final Fantasy. Oh, it just makes my head a frog head. Well, that's beautiful. I feel like it would be like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. Like they'd add Freddy for Freddy Fazbear as a as a playable character. Do they own that? I don't know. I mean, it's EA. I've <laughs> probably got enough money to. I mean, somebody owns it. Aren't they developing a movie for that shit? Probably. Remember that Banana Splits movie from a few years ago? Yeah. We never saw that. EA owned Spore. EA. Yeah, because it's the dude. It's. Are you sure it's not? The Sims guy. Do they own The Sims? Yeah. Like, they bought Maxis Studios or whatever? I guess, Did yeah. The Sims used to be Maxis? Yeah. Oh, yeah that, Nick Cage, yeah, that Nick Cage movie is on our Halloween list this year, Willy's Wonderland. Kind of stoked to see that. I love watching stupid-ass Nick Cage movies. Except Season of the Witch. Yeah, I couldn't finish that one. It was awful. But I at least give him a chance. I was hoping I could talk to the frogs now, but I can't. Neo says, you want to see an amazing reaction, mention Wicker Man to Zero. Oh, really? That puts such a damper on, like, the original Wicker yeah, the Man. The original the... Wicker Man is so fucking good. Like, it's so good. I lent it to Dave for uh, Halloween. Because I'm not sure if he's ever seen the original. But it is... Definitely one of my favorite horror films. And I mean, the Nick Cage version is at least really fun. It, it is awful, though, because it's just like... Oh, it's a bad film. Like, it's really awful. But it's really fun to laugh at. Because it's like, what if we took the Wicker Man and we made it sexist? <laughs> yeah. He 
video, have you seen the original Wicker Man? Because, I mean, it's an old movie. It's from the 70s. I feel like I saw the Nick Cage one before I saw the original. Yeah, probably. Frog time. Frog time. You should see the original. The original is really good. Ramones was Nick Cage friends with? I have no idea. Because that's what I, I always heard is that Wicker Man was that dude's favorite movie. So Nick Cage is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it redone for you, and just made a fucking dog shit version of it. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe Dee Dee or Joey. Probably Joey. I love that idea. Oh, you really like that movie? Well, since I'm such a good pal, I'm gonna fuck it up for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make it awful for you. Because I know the director is somebody, too. The director of the Nick Cage version? Yeah. I, I don't know who it is. Look it up. Because I think that's the thing, is people say famously all his movies are just sexist. <laughs> oh, yeah, look it up. I don't. I, I can't think of who it is. Like, I'm honestly not recalling which part of the film you're, you're referring to as sexist. Like, well, I, don't I think doubt they you. just make the women more prominent because they don't have a Christopher Lee analog in that, I don't think. Correct. So it's like the women are in control and therefore it's evil oh, rather than it's yeah. non Christian, therefore it's evil. I gotcha, I gotcha. I just like I remember when we watched the original Wicker Man. We're like, Neil this, this place is fucking awesome. Who? Neil Laboot. I have no fucking clue who that is. What else has he made? I'm looking. Neo, what two Nick Cage movies do you like? I think I'm only down with a total of two Nick Cage movies. All right. I'm not going to look at his answers. I'm just going to say, like, what Nick Cage movies I like, which are Raising Arizona. Excellent film. Uh, Wild at Heart. Excellent film. I like The Weatherman, which is Gore Verbinski. Do you know that? Mm -mm. Who did The Ring remake? Damn. I don't know any of these movies that he's credited with writing. What, what else is good with Nick Cage? I liked Bandy. I mean, I think that's sort of a generic answer at this point. Yeah. But it was a good movie. Even uh, in Color Out of Space. I liked Color Out of Space, even though Richard Stanley's a, the shithead. Uh, I'm trying to think of more Nick Cage movies, but I, I, I can't now. What movies does he like? Gone in 60 Seconds and City of Angels. I, I, I remember liking the Gone in 60 Seconds remake when I saw it when it came out, but that was when I was a kid, so I don't know how I'd feel about it now. Um, I've never seen City of Angels. Uh, oh, another good one that he's in is Bringing Out the Dead, where he is like a, an ambulance driver. Have you been in there? I have not. Okay. This is a new place. Um, and uh, I feel like he's in a movie... Is he in that movie Leaving Las Vegas? I think he might be. I feel like that's supposed to be a good one. Have you said Raising Arizona? Yes. Okay. Like, Raising Arizona and Wild at Heart are, like, what I would consider his best films. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's Coen Brothers and David Lynch. You can't yeah. really go wrong. We need to watch Drive Angry because uh, Hayden Christensen is in it. Terrible. I've never seen him in a movie that isn't Star Wars. Hayden Christensen? Yeah. He's in Season of the Witch. No, he wasn't. Who was that? Are you, Nicholas Cage. You, you've got it confused. He's in Season of the Witch. 
I'm so sure he's in Drive Angry. No, no, no. He's in Season of the Witch. He's like, he's like a. Uh, he's like his his partner in that movie. <laughs> you know what movie he's in um, that we should see, but we would have to watch the original first. So like Harvey Keitel back in the seventies, I think was in this movie, Bad Lieutenant, where he's like a crooked cop. Mm -hmm. And fucking, uh, uh, Werner Herzog was just like, I'm gonna make a sequel to that movie. Didn't like ask permission or anything, just made it and put Nick Cage in it. Christensen is in neither of these movies. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Where's my fucking phone? Hang on a second. God damn it. What am I thinking of? I'm not allowed to see what movies Hayden Christensen is an actor in. <laughs> oh my god, I really can't. I can't see. It will not let me. Okay. Oh my god, you're right, he's not. Outcast. That's a movie with Nick Cage. It looks exactly like the Drive Angry Foot poster. Um, it's a historic, like a fantasy. Sh show me, show me, show me. See, that poster looks exactly like Drive Angry. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's a fantasy movie with mm -hmm. Nick Cage and Hayden Christensen. I thought that was uh, Season of the Season Witch. Of the Witch, because that's the only other fantasy movie that I think Nick Cage is probably in. I'm glad the still they have at the back here is Hayden Christensen looking like he's about to angry cry. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's what all he did in Star Wars. Yeah, but I don't want to judge him too harshly because, you know, George Lucas was involved in oh, that. No. George Lucas is a fucking moron. I would never blame anybody for Star Wars except George Lucas, but... I got Lamp! Uh, the SS Drive Angry is just Ghost Rider without the flaming skull, and that he thinks Nick Cage just really liked the Ghost Rider character and kept making movies oh, like it. Oh, God, I forgot he was <laughs> in those shit-awful Ghost Rider movies. Also, Amanda's here. When was the last time Amanda was here? I don't know. What's up, Amanda? What's your, you, what, have you watched Hereditary yet? What's your favorite Nick Cage movie, Amanda? <laughs> also, watch Hereditary. It scares David. He needs somebody to watch it with him. I gave David, like, a box of, like, 50 Blu-rays mm. for Halloween. Just, like, a bunch of horror movies. Amanda says she does not remember her favorite Nick Cage movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't feel like you would probably have one. <laughs> that you would consider a favorite. Like, they're, they're few and far between. You kind of just deal with Nick Cage movies. Yeah. And you're lucky if you get out not hating it. Matchstick Men. I remember watching Matchstick Men. It was okay.
You should go to the dark one. You're correct. I should. I think that was this one down yeah, here. Yeah, I think it's this one in front of the red door. This one, right? Yeah. I think so. No, no, sorry. This one. This up one? above it. No. No. That yeah. one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah, I can see now. Look at this. Hello. A, a creature. I wish I looked like this. You look like that to me. Did you just slide out of it? I don't know what happened. Oh, this music is so good. Mm -hmm. I assume it's not atonal enough to scare Amanda. Oh. <laughs> What did I freak her out with? I think it was my Voltsong tapes. Maybe. Like, I can't uh, remember what they were because I thought they were fucking rad. Yeah, I think it was like Astral Order of Impurity and stuff like that. So it's like Dungeon Synth Adjacent Dark Ambient from, um... I can't remember where Voltsong is based out of. Hand. Knife. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. I said hand, you said knife. Hand knife. Old shark pan Joe. I would like to play a game like this that has an atmospheric, depressive, suicidal black metal soundtrack. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm being serious. I like, know. Just like that soft, blown out, hissy black metal as like a constant background noise would be fucking amazing. Make us some fucking RPG Maker art. I mean, I've got friends that can make that shit. We'll make a little game. Uh, I guess I'm gonna wake up and then see what that knife does, because it's just gonna be dark in here if I try to do it. Amanda says, whatever you played us wasn't pleasant. <laughs> if music doesn't make you feel like you could have a panic attack at any moment, is it really music? I love that podcast we listened to the other day, because it was uh, <laughs> yeah. those, those folks talking about Basically having sleep paralysis yeah. and seeing, uh, uh, like, a, a cryptid-like entity. Mm -hmm. But they had listened, they had gone to sleep listening to Thunder Perfect Mind by Nurse With Wound, which is... Not sleeping music. Not sleeping music, as they noted. Not sleeping music in the slightest. Valkyrie says hi. Hello, Valkyrie. Can you just kill shit now, I wonder? I don't know what I can do with this. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I can just kill shit now. Is this okay? <laughs> Surely it wouldn't be programmed in if it wasn't. You hear him screaming? Yeah, I hear him screaming. Oh, you know what I can do? What? What was that? I think you got money. Did I get money? Oh, look, I do have money. This is weird. Are you going to kill the worms? Uh, I'm going to slaughter them. They're like animals. <laughs> Speaking of Hayden Christensen. Hell yeah. I have had too much coffee today. I gotta go to the bathroom. You want anything? Um, no. I mean, I do, but no. Like, I want to eat all those cookies. Ooh, Neo says they've never seen a cryptid during their sleep or his sleep paralysis, but did see a ghost walk through a wall. That's fucking. That's sick. fucking dope. I love that shit. Man, somebody offered, somebody was uh, on Facebook the other day talking about their experiences with sleep paralysis. 
And they, uh... We're talking about, like... They had written up a document on all their experiences they were going to share with people, and I need to ask them about it. It's my little French friend. this door. Holy shit. So clearly you have to have the knife to come in here because you have to have the knife to get through here. This is fucking crazy. Also, I guess we can go back to the areas we were at where things were chasing us, because I guess I can defend myself against them now. So I went back to the first world, and I killed that guy that was blocking that door, and it put me in this room that's, like, stuffed full of enemies. So you gotta kill your way through? Yeah, I'm having to slaughter my way through them to get to something down here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, yeah. Mar uh, Amanda had sleep paralysis a couple of times. I forgot about that. Did you see anything cool, Amanda? It was when she still lived at my parents'. I've never had sleep paralysis because I can't fucking sleep on my back. I've had it one time. I didn't see anything. It was just really... Well, I say I had it one time. I think I've had it a little bit a few times, but I never saw anything. It just makes me panic because I... No, you're awake and can't move. I know I'm awake and I can't control my body at all, and it freaks me the fuck out. So I... I strain to wake myself up and usually I wake up or you wake me up because I'm making noises but it's I don't I don't like the feeling at all because like I was playing around with lucid dreaming techniques when it happened the worst and this I think this was in high school and it was like very uncomfortable it's like I have a thing like like it, it kind of feels like uh What's that thing where you don't like small spaces? Oh, claustrophobia. It feels like claustrophobia, but I think it's more just like any type of being restrained or anything. Um, I do not like, and that felt like that, you know, like I couldn't, I couldn't move or do anything. Well, I killed everything to get down here, but this doesn't seem to do anything. Do I need to be a severed head? I feel like there needs to be two of me to stand on both of these. Yeah. says she saw the big flying bear from Last Airbender. Don't know what the fuck that is. Appa? Appa's not a bear. It's well, a bison. I mean, I mean, I would assume that's what she means. 
uh, then a witch, which is like very stereotypical, one of the things people see. Oh yeah, it really is. That's... Yeah, like it's. Like, literally, like, uh... It's called hag-ridden, which is a lot sexier than... <laughs> which sounds a lot sexier than it is. And then another time, Slender Man. <laughs> you saw Slender Man? Oh, I lent David the Slender Man movie for you guys to watch for Halloween. We watched it at their house. Did we? Yeah, it we... was Halloween... One Halloween, we watched it there. Like, one of, like one of your 31... Oh. ...day movie list, we ended up watching we'll it watch it house. again. It's a classic. It sucks shit. It's right up there with Rosemary's Baby. It's wonderful. Yeah, Amanda, why would you be scared of Appa? <laughs> heard and seen too much slender man porn like not that it's slender man ever scared me but i mean even if it did at one point i've heard so much hilariously bad porn at this point what do you mean you've heard of porn because i don't go and find it but like i was listening to last podcast episodes oh, and every now and then yeah. henry will just start reading creepypasta porn <laughs> fair enough fair enough oh Neo says, imagine seeing Grimace from McDonald's in your sleep paralysis state. <laughs> Can you stab those walls? Uh-uh. Okay. So Neo saw, saw Grimace, got a big boner. <laughs> had to wash his bed sheets. Crazy stuff. not a persistent effect, I guess. So I don't know what that did. What? Neo says it's scarier when you find out what Grimace is. I read a news article recently that revealed what he is. Tell us what he is, Tell lad. us what he is. Drop the fucking McDonald's lore. It's scarier when you find out that those Ronald McDonald's on benches are anti-homeless measurements or measures. Fair enough. <laughs> He's a taste bud. He's a taste bud. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. My tongue is covered in, you know, purple dudes. Is it yours? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, can you stab these I'm, people? I'm or gonna do they... try to. Yeah, God, I figured you'd have to be pretty it. quick. Fuck. I mean, if you want to be scared of anything in the McDonald's lore, it's that fucking dog he has in those movies. What? He has this dog in the movies that they used to give out I don't remember what its name is but it looks like if you took a rocket power character and turned them into a dog but still kept weird human aspects of it find me a picture of him you gotta put it in the chat yeah not in the chat but like Show it on the stream. Hopefully it won't fuck OBS up too bad. Yeah, show it on the stream. Let's see this guy. 
the fucking Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Fuck. I just thought of Man Pig. <laughs> we were listening to Bad Creepy Pasta earlier and we heard one called Man Pig. Sunday. His name is Sunday. Sunday the dog? That sounds lovely. Yo, what the fuck is that shit? Oh, God. That's the picture right there. That's freaking me the fuck out. This one? That one. Oh, this one? Oh, no, that one's better. That one's better. That's freaking me the fuck out. God damn. I wish you hadn't told me about it now. Fuck. It's really bringing it together when you hear the, the sounds, the tones that are being emitted by this video game. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. That's fucking scary looking. Yeah, Amanda, you were probably a little, like, past the demographic by the time they started releasing these movies. Was Although McDonald's like... even a restaurant when Amanda was oh a kid? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we make fun of Colin for being young. I'm gonna make fun of Amanda for being slightly older than us. There he is for you guys. Make him bigger. Sunday. That's Ronald McDonald's dog. I am just not liking that guy whatsoever. Why don't we, uh... He's really upsetting me. Can we, uh... Yeah, can we make him, like, a standard part of the stream? No, I, I wanna, uh... Fuck the shit up. Oh, are you gonna make him, like, uh... Like a creepypasta scary Yeah, like, dog. smile dog. I killed one of those guys and they still sent me to this fucking forest. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Sharpen, yeah, we gotta sharpen the fuck out of this. <laughs> he just lives here now. I hope you guys are happy. You gotta make him black and white. Oh, but it needs the red. Okay, well, just like color shift it or whatever. Press the art button. <laughs> you know what to do. You're an artist. Correction, we gotta up that mm, up or down the gamma. What do you guys down? Oh, definitely shit. down the gamma. Look at that contrast, awful stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, you're having a good time, huh? This is what I do. Oh, we don't need to shift that hue. You are in your element. I can lower the opacity so he could just be here. Always with a Sunday. I like it. What do you guys think? <laughs> you like it? Let me, let me center him. There we go. Sunday. <laughs> Patron saint of the stream, Sunday. Oh, he's so awful. I wish we could make him into a uh, uh, a little VTuber avatar. Oh yeah. Oh, you looking at more pictures? Uh huh. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You know what I want. I mean, you did just Google McDonald's Sunday, and you got pictures of ice cream. So, what an awful creature. I wish I knew what I could do with the frog head that I got. So frog head? So frog head.
Here, I got another one for you. <laughs> Awful. I'm going to play this game. Now you're having too much fun. Quit having so much fun. God damn it. This game's hard. Holy shit. Get. Um, fu fuck off. Fuck off with this game. Get to fuck. Get to fuck. Oh, this is a bigger one. It's a bigger Sunday than we've ever had before. You think there's porn of it? Oh, I'm sure. I'm not gonna look for it, though. I'll just assume it exists and that's fine with me. I'll look for it later. Can extinguish these candle flames with a knife. Is that not how you put out candles normally? What is this? Uh, I don't know. I need enough images to make a border. Do you? Yeah, like most streamers have that like nice artwork and they have like little frames for like their webcam and shit. I'm just gonna have a border of Sundays. Just just a, a wreath of horror around the <laughs> around the, the game, I gotcha. They never kill these guys. Oh, I wonder if I can catch one of these guys and kill them. They're really fast. I feel like you'd have to wait there, and it looks like they kind of path around you, maybe. I feel like you'd have to just walk in that line. I'm not sure where they're coming from. It may just be the same one running in a circle. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Oh, and they are aware of where you are and they walk around you. Oh, 
<laughs> Both hands on the keyboard. I'm gonna kill this little dude. Fuck! God damn it. He's crafty. Northeast dungeon ceased raiding. The Northeast Dungeon Siege is raiding with a party of seven. Realm Song. Realm Song. Realm Song. So the album drops tomorrow, right? What the fuck is this? I've been imprisoned again, God damn it! For your crimes. very threatening <laughs> to tell us that you're watching us, even though I guess that is technically what everyone's doing. <laughs> but as you watch us, Sunday watches you. I don't think he can hear. Well, he doesn't need to know. Sunday knows. Alright, I'm going to start stabbing these eyes, because <laughs> I don't know what else to do at this point. They just bleed. It changes the iris color. It it's does. Like there's blood trapped in the iris. What a horrific scream. This is new? Yeah, I didn't think those eyeballs were there before. You gotta kill the leg. Ooh. Leg running scared. Sunday, don't you? The, the dogs? Mm -hmm. No, you can leave the dogs up. That's fine. <laughs> Go get more of them. Make a wreath like you were saying. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, these guys. Okay. I think these were solid. Up. Yeah, I think I should be able to stab these guys. They were covered in blood before, but they're not now. Like, they have blood leaking out of their eyes and mouth. Oh, that's true. I can't stab them, actually. What? It disconnected again! Uh oh. <laughs> it's like every time we get more than three viewers, it's like, no, we can't have this. <laughs> did it reconnect? It says it did. I don't know why it's doing that, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's not giving me any errors. It just all of a sudden says reconnecting. I feel like that might be a Twitch problem. I really don't know. Well, the only thing they really missed was more screaming. Yeah, just a lot of screaming. It's fine. Two hours. 
Yeah. Yeah, we might as well stop if it's gonna keep doing it. <sighs> Your stream is experiencing issues. Yeah, no shit. so because like you know like like obviously there's not a lot of linear stuff going on anyway i don't know what's happening strange I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna save. Did you go to bed with your TV on? Yes. Okay. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> well, if anybody can hear us, thank you for hanging out. Sorry, we're calling it quits all of a sudden, but yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what the fuck its problem is. It doesn't give me any errors, and then it says you're disconnected. Yeah, so. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, um, we will be back Friday to continue, finally, uh, Wild Arms. So we will see anybody that can make it on Friday. Goodbye. Bye.